You're watching WMBD News at 4. Welcome back. Students in the Twin Cities are just a couple of days away from participating in Bloomington Normal's NAACP AXO competition. And today we have Tamika Thomas and Derek Griffin to tell us all about this competition. So thank you all so much for joining us today. So first and foremost, what does AXO stand for and what are some of those competition categories? So AXO is, stands for the Afro Academic Cultural Technological Scientific Olympics of the Mind. And it is an opportunity for those to showcase their academics and cultural achievements. Nice. And some of those categories for the students? Uh, dance, uh, STEAM categories, business, entrepreneurship, poetry, uh, performance, oratory. There's list is endless. That's amazing. So, Dara, you are an alum of the AXO program. So could you just share a little bit about your experience? Of course. I really enjoyed my experience in AXO. Um, it was really nice to be surrounded by other people who looked like me, first of all. Um, and I really enjoyed being able to compete in the musical categories. But I love that there are such a wide uh, range of categories, you know, so we're not just being pushed into arts or, you know, sports. We have business, like she said, and, you know, poetry and just quite literally anything that, that you might be interested in. Nice. So what are the next steps for those who win this weekend? How does the competition work, the scoring work and everything? So this week uh, we have our local competition on Saturday, uh, August, I mean, April 27th at 8.30. Um, those that score um, 95 or higher will um, qualify. The top score that scores 95 or higher will qualify to go to the national competition this year being held in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, and so if they would, uh, they will find out if they qualify um, Sunday at uh, 3, 3 p.m. is when we will have our award ceremony. Nice, that's awesome. Yes. I need to see if I can win. <laughs> I'm too old, am I too old? <laughs> so Daryl, what are the benefits as an alum? Why should someone, why do you think students should take opportunity of the AXO program? Um, for me personally, I love being able to work with different professionals um, with what I was doing. So, you know, I was, you know, meeting like stage performers, uh, singers, people such as yourself who have also worked in the public eye for extended periods of time. And that was very, very valuable to me because that wasn't always like the kind of, you know, training or opportunities we were getting in school. Um, also, there are a lot, a lot of scholarship opportunities. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, a training ground. Like you're getting to showcase and compete with these skills and, you know, in the process, also earn money for the future. Um, so that's one of the most important parts to me, <laughs> personally. But yeah, it's, it's a great program, um, and I definitely remember my time with them fondly. Yeah. Sounds like whether you win gold or not, it's a win-win. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. So what are those details so the public can come out and support? So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow the kids will meet and they will practice um, and prepare for competition on Saturday. We start at 8.30 at Heartland Community College, and then we will turn on Sunday um, at 3 p.m. for the award ceremony. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for joining us, and we will share this interview on our website. That's viproud.com.